So I'm stripping down the hull, preparing it to take it to the dealership for when my new hull arrives on my warranty claim for the cracks. And then getting off all my gear track stuff. So I've been told that the dealers chop these holes up. They don't even resell them. Kind of a waste if you ask me, but oh well. I'll just be glad when I get my new hole. So the, uh, the warranty item for mine, you can see it's these seat pedestals. There's a small crack over here. And then of course this one's even worse. But that is was warrantied on claiming on mine. And that but really, I mean the only negative I have is them seat cracks and of course this flimsy rudder. Man, I'm waiting for boondocks to come out with something. If not, maybe I'm gonna have to try to make one out of aluminum or thicker and bolt it up here. We'll see. But it's flimsy and you could you could feel it when it when it tracks if you goes against the wave or a current you could feel it moving but other than that that's the only negative i have on the on the outback i'm still glad i purchased it and uh hobie did warranty it and give me a new hole so I'm just waiting to get the new one and then we'll go swap the lever lock anchor trolley. I'll have to swap this out and put it on the new one. And then my rear circle hatch that I installed, we'll have to take this off and put it on the new one as well. The dealer said they'll help me out with that. I'm out my matting. Of course, this was the matting I bought off of eBay. It's not, it's not super sticky. If I put some goop down there it'll hold it in the other places it held pretty well i may here's a place it let up on it a little bit and back in here it looks like too i may go ahead and just spring for the marine mat this time it's a little more expensive but i'm wondering if it'll hold even better than this stuff I think I paid $50 and I'm not even halfway done with the roll on this. Uh, I would say this cost me probably $25 out of that $50 because I, I used half of it. And then the marine mat of course is between $150 to $200, whichever option you buy. I'm kind of sad to, to do the warranty but I'm also happy to get a new hull. And I don't have to worry about repairing these pedestals yet. Alright, so I'm at my dealers. If you're in the Missouri area. Ozark Mountain Trading Company. That's the place to be, man. That's the place to get your kayaks from. These guys are awesome. I highly recommend them. And uh, we're going to get taken care of. But again, it's Ozark Mountain Trading Company. They're awesome people. Jaden and Jason is normally who I, who I uh, work through. But uh, the other guys are, are great as well. So this is a look at inside in their inventory. I got Casey over here squaring me away on my new hole. But I just wanted to show you some of the, the large inventory that they have on hand. And they really pack them in here in the warehouse. They got a special edition Bonafide I see here. Good looking kayaks. There's my baby. Once we get the circle hatch swapped out as well as the 
anchor trolley on the other side. Normally during the better weather they have this place open and kayaks outside so you can actually get a good look at them. But it's uh, pretty cold right now. Casey, what do you think your top seller is going to be for next year? What's that, sir? What do you think your top seller is going to be next year? I don't know. Uh, we've got the U pick coming out, and I'd like to see that. Yeah. It's going to be pretty popular, I believe. A lot of new boats coming yeah, out. Yeah, the. Uh, the native uh, Max, Max 12, I think is pretty interesting to me. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Uh, and then a lot of new boats coming out. And then they're going to have a, uh, a bite uh, propel, I think. Yes. Yeah, that'll be a big seller. And, of course, the, the Hobie 360. The Hobie 360, for sure. Yeah. We've got some of those in now, so. Still working on putting it together for the showroom. Oh yeah. Well, this is the new 360. They're just now putting it together for the showroom. But this is the first time I actually got to get my hands on one. The PA which comes with the tub which is to me awesome. I wish the Outback came with the tub instead of having to pay extra for it. You don't have everything installed yet but you can get a look at this new 360 Mirage Drive. See and this is a plus that the PA comes with. Look at that, here's the new drive. So it is completely different. I see why. Pretty cool. This is the direction the fins are in. accessories Sharp looking bona fide, black and red. They even offer gift cards for your favorite. Paddler. Full Yakima accessories too. The uh, overload HD is what.
but I'll be getting in the near future, I think. So here's the Hobie Pro Angler 12, 360, in the new green color. Man, I do like that. That might be my favorite color. And that's what I thought, yeah. So home sweet home, we're here. I ended up snagging a bunch of PVC pipe from a guy off of a uh, classified ad. But I paid next to nothing for it. And so I'm hoping it'll give me some DIY projects in the future. And of course, with some of my kayaking friends, I'm sure they could use some of it too. But I've got... Uh, two inch four inch six inch eight inch you can see i got quite a bit of pvc pipe but the kayak is home we're going to get a set up in just a few all right so i got her somewhat put together for now on everything that that i do have i haven't put the reflective stickers on yet but i'm just playing around with it i I did buy the small bin today, so we're going to try that out. Got that from my dealer. It's kind of cool. It's, uh, it's got a tether with it. 40 inch, I think, is what they said this tether is. But then I went ahead and put my Robohawk leashes on there as well for all my other tools. So we'll see how that th that is. Good old Robohawk leashes. My GoPro mount it's basically the same setup it was for my initial setting i haven't really changed a lot this is my crate that i built with my lure holder so this is <clears throat> this is the pole i just made so this is the burly pro orb and then i mounted a gopro onto it but i'm already not liking it it seems like it's got more play see how much movement in that rail blazer i'm hoping you can see that but just just wiggling it man i'm not sure if that's going to work so before what i was running was this boom i was running this boom for my gopro i made this out of a nine dollar vivitar uh, monopod from like walmart actually i got this one at the px the base px but it was like nine bucks and then I busted the ends off each end. And uh, this is a Scotty mount I put on this mount. And then on this end, I bought a cheap uh, ball head off of eBay. And it's telescoping. And I put this, this is, this is my new 10T. But I went ahead and put that on the 10T. But I'm actually thinking that Vivitar is better than this. I don't know. I'm just, man, it's got a lot of, I don't know about that. But I mounted it on here. It's not, it's not the mount as much a flex as it is this rod. The, uh, the rail blazer, uh, what do they call it? Extend a pole, I think it is. It comes in like three three sections. I added another one on there. So there's actually four sections on there. And maybe it's just, I don't know, maybe it's just not designed for that. That's the orb, the light. And then what I got, the I got the wires. The kit that comes with it has the rail blaze mount that the wire actually goes through. If you were to put it, like if you were to mount it here or mount it somewhere, oops, you could drill a hole through your hole and then run the wires. But right now I don't want to drill any holes. So we'll see how I'm going to run this to a, a pack. And then eventually I'm hoping Mrs. Claus will bring me a fish finder and then that'll get plugged in as well.
I didn't put my eBay mat in. I think I'm going to go ahead and spring for the C deck. And then also, so the reason for the warranty claim again was the cracks. So instead of even testing out my luck, I went ahead and took some. It's PVC pipe. It's just red. I don't know what schedule 40, schedule 60, whatever it is. Um, and it was in that pile of PVC that I got today. But I went ahead and split down a, a smaller tube of it and uh, just gooped it. It's just got that waterproof plumber's goop on there. But this gives me a, a, a stronger footprint on these seat pedestals. So they're actually sitting. And we'll see. We'll see if that works better. But hopefully in the next few days I can get out. I don't know what the weather's like. It's kind of cold right now. I think we're supposed to have a couple nice days and then get some snow. So we'll see. My Robohawk handle. I love that thing. I gotta fix the clip on it. And then of course this one. So this one started out with a straight rudder so that's nice mine the brand new when I got it it wasn't even straight it had a slight kink to it so we'll see how good that lasts you know I'll hear a lot of a lot of complaints and a lot of gripes about man you paid that much money and it cracked but at least they honor their three-year hole warranty and then the good thing about Ozark Mountain Trading Company they lifetime repair the hole as long as you own it so three years from now if i get a crack they're going to take care of me ozark mountain trading company i don't know if other dealers do that but i'm telling you i'm very impressed with the guys at ozark mountain trading company i'm uh, glad i've met them so if you're in the areas go down to see them ryan walker in uh, Garfield, Arkansas. Awesome guy. He's a huge advocate on uh, smallmouth conservation in Missouri and Arkansas. Just an all-around great angler and uh, I'm glad to know him as well. And then Jaden and Jason and uh, Casey. Go see him in uh, Ozark, Missouri. As always, Keep your uh, prayers and thoughts on our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be the America that we are today. And I'm thankful to, uh, to serve with them. And I'm thankful to, that they keep serving. Uh, an old retired guy like me, it's good to know that uh, we've got young, young guns out there still dedicating their time, their, uh, their talents. And uh, we know we ain't doing it for the money. And I'm thankful that people got the uh, moral fortitude in, uh, to do it and uh, to keep doing it and to keep serving this great country. Have a great weekend. Uh, I salute all the veterans, past and present. Thank you for your service. Thanks for watching.